Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Sanjay Prakash and today in this video, we will discuss an important use case in Power Virtual Agent. In Power Virtual Agent, Microsoft introduced so many new features. One of them is to use adaptive cards in chatbots, right? What happens when we add actions like ask questions, the chatbot can only ask one question at a time to the customer or to the user to whom the chatbot is interacting with but sometimes there is a need that you should display a card like structure card like ui which contains multiple controls and so that the customer will provide a input uh, using that card so you already know about adaptive cards right if you know that you if you don't know adaptive cards go to adaptive card website and learn that how adaptive card works so let us use that ask with adaptive cards i want so chatbot wants to ask a question to uh, user or to customers to fill up a form like card which contains multiple form, multiple fields so click on ask with adaptive card when you click on ask with adaptive card here you can uh, navigate to the adaptive card website to create a card adaptive adaptive card is actually generates a json uh, format uh, and that you can edit to integrate here so click on open adaptive card designer to design a adaptive card and it will open the adaptive card designer here if you go to the samples you will get so many sample cards that you can use right here this is the sample right the adaptive card display an image then some name then some uh, subtitle then some description and some buttons here right so it depends on you that what type of adaptive card you want let me go back and use a input form to display a form like structure you see here this card contains username email and phone number and some image here right and some description and title now this type of card i can display uh, in chatbot so that user can provide multiple field information at a time and click on submit okay and i capture i can capture all this information on submission and uh, the chatbot can take all these respond responded values from this card and process it later on right so let us take this card so i can take this sample card or if you want to create your start from scratch new card you can go to the designer and create your card okay you can go to the designer and create your card here click on new card and you have to provide the whether you want to create a blank card or some sample from this list right so if you click on blank card uh, you can uh, drag and drop uh, controls from here okay let's say i want to drag a container here okay so this is the designer so here you can add a empty container now here you can add some uh, text block right now depend depending on your requirement you can design here let's say about us about uh, yourself right now you can design your uh, card and components using the properties right here you can use the properties to change the text blocks property right So here you uh, change the layout height wrap styles font style right size you can make it uh, large size then it will display like this then you can add another text block right here you can add some uh, label uh, some information please tell about yourself in brief right now here i can add some uh, input text before that i can add a level here right so this this way you can start from scratch uh, design your card let's say your name and below that i want to add input text right and you can design the properties of the element you can define the id of the control first is id okay 
this is the id let's say uh, client name so this id will be referenced in power virtual agent whenever you uh, want to uh, fetch the data entered in this text box right and the placeholder you can define here enter your name right like that you can add more information like you want to add uh, gmail then also you can add one more title and uh, block say define email and add input text you can use other inputs like input text date time number choice field accordingly right so i can take input text here okay and define the id let's say client email and placeholder other properties also you can set right then i can define a submit button so that user can submit action set so you can find some action set and inside that you can add some actions okay and put text then you want to add a uh, button for example then you can scroll down right so the button is not displaying you can check the button tag also if uh, you are not able to see here let me yeah here it is there right if you click on add an action it will display the actions what action the button will perform whether it will open a uh, url or it will submit the information on the card so click on submit right so i can click on this button and define here the values title i want to display let's say submit okay id let's say btn submit right so once it is done my card is completed now in this card also you can add multiple elements like you can add image set you can add column set tables right any information you want to add on the uh, card you can add okay uh, let me add a image for example let me add a image okay and drop it here and here i want to set the image uh, url i can get a uh, image uh, icon okay let's say i want to use this one so i can copy the uh, image address and use it here as a url right and i can also set the height and width of this uh, image okay so let me go to specification height and size small i can take right so that it will display small icon like structure okay so once it is done you will see that the the payload json payload will generate for this card you just copy this and go to your topic and here in the action you just put your json content here right but before that you have to change the version as 1.5 because normally the uh, power virtual agent supports 1.5 version of adaptive cards now you understand how it looks like okay now let us save and before that once you use your card here remember uh, once the user submits this username and password username and email and click on submit the 
information will be available in this output strings client email and client name so these are the output parameters that you can use let's say i want to display as a message thank you for your interest uh, and here i want to display name which is uh, inputted from this above uh, adaptive card so you will use the variable to insert that name and in the insert variable i can use the client name and email edge client email right so these variables are nothing but output of the adaptive card once it is submitted it will be available with value now save it and test this adaptive card is very important uh, you know in power virtual agent if you want to automate uh, a form like submission uh, use cases now let me refresh and try to uh, initiate the topic using a high message now as soon as you press high it will display your adaptive card you see how it looks like very nice and with images with title with subtitle right and with two input forms now here i can provide information let's say and email id right now once i submit this the data will be submitted and the output variable will display in the second action now you understand how adaptive card is displayed or configured and the gestion is used in our power virtual agent and the uh, field information can be uh, field values can be extracted using the output variable very easy and very efficient now you can go to design excellent uh, cards and use it in your project now for a uh, bonus uh, tips i can uh, tell you that go to samples in the adaptive card and uh, check different types of adaptive cards that are already designed so that you can use it you see so application login this is a application login card and uh, expense report flight details right these are uh, predefined uh, cards that you can use image gallery if you want to display image gallery you can display right and restaurant order right? you can display uh, list item to select right so go ahead and explore more on this thank you everyone watching this video i hope you understand how we're asking questions using adaptive card is used in power virtual agent for complex requirements thanks everyone bye